Alright, let's pick it up here. I wanted to spend some time actually leveling up my mantras, mantra skills, so I'm going to do that actually after this video, off camera. And I'll show you my progress uh, as soon as I start up the uh, Oh, these are familiar. Let's try health trust. It looks like it would typically do more damage when it doesn't. I'm actually being careful with eating it right now. Because uh, there was one occasion where I did try and power level beforehand, but it didn't save. And what happened was, uh, Surf got a stomach ache. And what that does, it kind of limits the, uh, AP or normal gain after a battle. So basically, it kind of nulls the effect. So off camera, I decided to solve that problem by buying five disks. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. And it, I'll trade this in for a body But not now. Because I want to get to the... I was planning to get to the next Karma Temple. So I can teleport back instead of walking with me back. Great. I don't understand why they have turns ahead of me. But let's take some defensive measures. Oh, this was odd. Yeah, it took a long, a long time to heal. Waiting for you to use your stupid ice thing. Oh. I'm actually kind of impatient with some of this. Is that I wish the mantra skills could actually level up faster without having to constantly devour an enemy, because I want all my characters to level up. Now let's try my. Yikes. That was close. What? Uh -huh. Let's try this. Alright, that looks awesome. It kind of feels painful to have uh, these long blades coming out of your uh, arms. Or your arm is kind of splitting so the blades can come out. <laughs> if they're whispering, I bet you could have heard that. But that doesn't feel at all discomforting because after all I beat the well. And basically all these enemies are kinda like stronger versions of the ones you fought in the Rondo territory. Why are they getting a turn ahead of me? Is it because I'm weaker? I think that's a possibility. I'll heal him. Yes. Let's try that again. Now theoretically, if it was a one-hit kill, I should have just... 
going with the other going with the other method and actually attack the uh, the one that hasn't been damaged. Now let's go through this gate. Oh, how unsettling. How even more unsettling, it's no longer there. I think this is the... I'm trying to figure out what the circumstances was. Oh, this was... this was it. This is the first time I got ambushed. So, nobody transformed. And everybody still has their guns. And I learned a new combo, Crossfire. So let's try it out. Great, you die first. Well, everyone's pretty bad behind. I thought transforming would at least provide a little bit of a buffer. And I was gonna restore Janana's health. Not Janana. Angela's health. Can't do it with shit. So I'm gonna transform instead. I survived being ambushed. That's good. I'm gonna use skill and die to restore everyone's health because I'm not in the best shape. These enemies are pretty powerful. And I'm being honest. The first I'm gonna open the gate, I'm being careful for two reasons. One is I went to get the uh, mantra skills, so I didn't go through the gate before I can do something called the field hunt, which they said was in the, this area. And uh, another was that there was a really tough uh, mini boss set, like, so I want to be ready. And by ready, I mean I should see if I can get uh, arc uh, arc healing effect for uh, Argilla. So right now I'm trying to pick a fight. So I'm going around in circles, hoping to get encountered, since I have plenty of, I have plenty of time. But after only one battle. <laughs> Because the sooner I get my mantras leveled up, the better. Well, this is easy. What? Doesn't make sense. Let's run this again. Ha! I finally got you. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna wrap up here and I'll see you later.